Welcome back. Now, in this video, we want to discuss finding follow-up offers. Now, obviously, you have been generating profit, perhaps on your first affiliate offer or maybe a product offer, but now what you need to do is you need to find the next offer that's going to be in the best interest of your subscriber list. So you need to be following, you need to be finding follow-up offers. Now, obviously, in the resource area, there are follow-up offers that you can use to promote your, to your subscriber list. What you have to do is to become an affiliate, and you will be able to promote those offers to your list. So make sure that you are looking in the resource area of this course. Now, in general, you want to make sure that the affiliate promotions that you do they don't destroy the trust of your buyer. So you don't want to send an affiliate offer that you don't think is going to really benefit them or is going to cause them to either want to refund and look at you in a different light, you want to make sure that when you send your uh, subscribers to an offer that it makes you look good. Now, if the affiliate has prepared bonuses for you in advance, now this is a good offer to promote typically because if the affiliate goes through the trouble of helping you to actually sell. Now, provided it's a great product, provided it's really going to benefit your uh, subscriber list, an affiliate that goes through the trouble of giving you the opportunity to use bonuses on their behalf, this is going to be a good offer, and typically that's going to help you to make more sales. And often, an affiliate uh, or a vendor, they will give you selling tools, and you always want to look for the selling tools because Typically, they'll have a proven email, and we call those swipes in the industry. And you can use those swipes because you can literally swipe them off the page, and you can put them inside of your email, and you can have a good, uh, a, a good, Now, often an affiliate or a vendor, they're going to give you selling tools. And this will include banners and sales pages and marketing emails. And you can use those marketing emails in your own campaigns because they will actually help you to sell the product better. So this is a good indication when you're looking for a follow-up offer, when an affiliate gives you these kinds of tools that, hey, these are going to do well with your subscriber list when you send it out. And when you use these things, make sure that you use them in your own style. So if you get a marketing email or swipe, you don't necessarily want to take it as it is. You want to use it as a template. And that means that you want to tailor it based on things that you've said in the past. And you want to add in your own style and your own way of communicating with the people who are on your subscriber list because that is what they're, they're looking for. They're looking for that kind of interaction with you. So again... Make sure that it's a good offer. Make sure that it's really going to benefit your, your subscriber list. But then once you've done that, start looking for those, those, uh, those affiliate offers that have uh, those tools because those tools are actually going to help you to convert those subscribers into sellers when they open up your email. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video.